First things first, can I have you state and spell your name? Dick Garden, just like a flower garden. All right, and tell me about your background and how you ended up in this crazy business. Well, I was born in the circus business. My mother and father came from Scotland, and we're 100% uh, Scottish for centuries and centuries. And they met over here, and my mother knew how to sing and dance, and she taught my father how to sing and dance. And they um, started a team called Garden and Shaw, and they were in vaudeville back in the 20s and 30s, and uh, did a song and dance and comedy number. And then when my mother got uh, pregnant with the, my first uh, brother, um, they retired to Canada, uh, retired off the road, I should say, and he opened up a theatrical agency, which back in those days was called a vaudeville exchange. And from that uh, led into the circus. He produced a circus for um, people, and from that it evolved into more weeks on the road and eventually had the only touring circus in Canada at that time. And um, I was literally born in the circus, but I'm not like the real circus uh, kids that um, were born on the road and all that sort of thing. I went to school and, <laughs> and uh, visited the circus back then. And my father had an indoor circus, and, I, and my dream was always to have the big tent circus. And I guess, I, and I came moved to America, and I realized my dream. And so this circus is pretty new, right? Yes, it is. Circus Fusion. I always had um, bigger tents, three ring circuses, and um, and a lot more trucks, and we had a lot more animals and that kind of thing. But this is kind of the new. Uh, it's more intimate, and the people actually like it better. Um, we're up close and personal, and we still have uh, enough animals. We have the camels and elephants, and the elephant and the animals they like to see. So tell me about your overall business. You've got this circus, and you've got some other things, right? Um, actually, I have another circus that's playing uh, right now out in California. Um, it, it plays indoors uh, only. It does not have a tent. Once in a while, we play indoor dates with this show, and then at the beginning of the week, like we are doing next week, and then um, at the end of the week, we play uh, in the tent again. And uh, that's it. I have the uh, the two shows on the road. And tell me about your family, because they're just meshed in this too, right? Yeah. Actually, my brothers were all in the circus business. They're all retired now. They're um, Well, the next youngest brother is actually 10 years older than me. And he still trains animals. He was always an animal guy, and he trains camels and zebras and horses, mostly horses, and um, uh, trains animals for other circuses and that new show, Cavalia, which is a horse show. And uh, then my older brother, uh, he's been retired for quite a while, and he um, he was very wise and invested his money properly and um, owns a lot of property and spends his time counting his money, I think, or managing his property or something. <laughs> and then I have a twin sister, and she's retired, and um, she was a performer. Uh, she did an aerial act, she did a juggling act, and, uh, and her main act was a dog act. And she retired quite a few years ago, and actually worked in our office for quite a number of years, and then uh, she totally retired and moved to Tennessee and bought a ranch up there, and she and her husband live on the ranch, and I don't know what they do all day on that. The cows, I guess. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Okay, this is on fire. Glad we were here. <laughs> right? That would have been a disaster. Ooh.